Topil Mlato has been laid to rest in a special provincial funeral. The 64-year-old, one of the longest-serving former MECs in the Eastern Cape, died after a short illness. A fitting tribute for a life well lived. Best known as a freedom fighter, Tobile Mshlatlo is also described as a humble and resilient man. Family members say he will be dearly missed. No, we, very, we feel very grateful as a family and uh, with the support that you know, everyone else has shown, more especially the Eastern Gate government for having conferred this funeral as a state uh, funeral. We are very thankful for that. And also, you know, the support that we've received for the, from the ANC, which she was a member of and loved so dearly. Exiled, Mshlatlo spent his time outside South Africa fighting for trade unions' rights. He also played a significant role in the mobilization and liberation of black workers. Tobil was amongst those veterans who faced up to those poor criminals and ensured that the office of the ANC remained open. That's how I remember him, as a warrior and a unifier. Having served in several MEC positions, he had an impressive track record. He worked behind the scenes to make sure that the ANC grew into what it is today and that this program of renewal, which we are just beginning as the African National Congress, I must say would have benefited a lot, a great deal from a kid like him. Top or uh, they call him just some of them, um, Shasho, served as an MEC, a member of the Executive Council in the first cabinet of the Eastern Cape. So it was important that we apply for a category state funeral, category two. That, that kind of a funeral is accorded to people who have uh, uh, demonstrated some sort of leadership and contribution to the development of the people of this province. Mshlatlo is survived by his wife and four children. Jade Lee Pulser, SABC News, Port Elizabeth.